Hey, welcome to Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. We are still on the third week of the second quarter for the grade 7 mathematics. Hey, translating English phrases or sentences into mathematical phrases or sentences. Okay, translating phrases or English phrases or verbal phrases or sentences into mathematical phrases and sentences. Welcome to Pamati Tutorial. Okay, simulan na natin. The objectives for this video is identify the words, phrases that represent addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then, translate English phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. Show appreciation on the importance of using mathematical symbols. Okay, that's a weird. Kunting review lang muna tayo. If we will, uh, okay, tinalakay natin kanina or on my previous videos, kung nanonood kayo, uh, tatalakay muna natin kasi importante ito. Algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics. Alam natin yan na kapag ang iba na kapag nakakarinig ng word na algebra ay natatakot, hindi nila alam na ang algebra ay natutunan na nila kahit panong elementary pa sila. Okay? Then, meron tayong word na constant. Kapag sinabing constant, it is a fixed figure of a number. Okay? Wala siyang kasamang variable. That is a constant. Now, you can have that examples. Variable, it is a letter or a symbol that represent a numbers. A variable or a letter that represent a numbers, then it is it must be a small letters from A to Z. English alphabet tayo, ha? Kasi yun ang alam natin, the English alphabet letters. Then term, term is separated by plus or minus sign. Then these are the examples of a term. Then the coefficient, meron tayong numerical coefficient. Numerical coefficient is the number part of a term. Then the literal coefficient is the variable part of a term including the exponents. Okay, then the algebraic expression, it could be a constant or a combination of a constant and a variable through the operation of multiplication or is composed of different terms. Okay, can have that one. Now, the terms that we can be used in addition, remember that would be our symbol for addition, okay, Addition, plus, kapag naririnig natin yan, alam natin na addition na. The sum of, okay, it is addition. More than, it is addition. Increase by, addition. Then total, it means you need to add. Okay? Then added to, okay, it means you need to add. Next, subtraction. We have here subtraction. Difference of. Less, decrease by, subtracted from, diminish by, minus. Okay. Those are the subtraction. Meron pa, reduce and less than. Okay. Those are the terms can be used for addition and subtraction. Another one, for multiplication. And remember, for multiplication, we have these different symbols can have a parenthesis. Common na ginagamit natin is the X. Then, meron tayong dot. Pero ang pagkasulat sa dot ay nasa gitna ng dalawang numbers. Hindi nasa baba. Kapag nasa baba, decimal yan. Okay, we can have also the braces and the bracket. Okay. Now, the terms can be used for multiplication is multiplied. Multiplied by or multiply by product of Twice or thrice a number, pwede twice a number, pwede ring thrice a number, that is multiplication. Or we have the word of, and that is 
multiplication. For the division, okay, you can have this symbol for the division. Pwede rin yung symbol ng ratio. Pwede yun. That is division. Division, the quotient of, divided by, ratio of, okay, those are for division. Now, the English phrases for addition and subtraction. Okay, example, we have here, the sum of M and N. Paano natin isusulat yan into mathematical phrases or phrase? Or mathematical phrase, kasi phrase nga siya. Now, <clears throat> sum, alam natin, kapag ang word na sum is addition plus, ibig sabihin, M plus 8. Yun lang siya, di ba? Mas madali lang. Next, 10 added to C. 10 added to C. Added to, it means plus, then C plus 10. Bakit ganyan? Kasi nga, added to. Ibig sabihin, si C, dinagdagan ng 10. Kaya, 10 plus 10. Added to. Okay, ganyan siya. Next, more than T. 5 more than T. Ganun pa rin ang concept. T, Dinagdagan ng 5, therefore, it is T plus 5. Okay. Next, Q increase by P. Okay. Q increase by, ibig sabihin plus, then P. Q, dinagdagan ng P. Okay. Next, 11 greater than N. 11 greater than N, ibig sabihin, N, dinagdaga ng 11. Another one, the difference of 18 and M. Difference, kapag sinabi natin difference, subtraction, therefore, 18 minus M. 10 subtracted from C. We have the word from. Ibig sabihin, C, binawasan ng 10. Therefore, C minus 10. Then, 7 minus A. Alam natin yan. 7 minus A. Next, T decrease by P. Okay, T, binawasan ng P, therefore, T minus P. Then, 5 less than F. Same concept. Yon. 5 less than F. Ibig sabihin, F, binawasan ng 5. Therefore, F minus 5. Okay. Those are our examples. How to translate in addition and subtraction or multiplication. Let's have here. The product of 8 and M. Ibig sabihin, product, pwede siya 8M. Kapag magkatabi, ang number at saka ng variable, the operation is multiplication. Next, 10 times C. Simply lang, 10 times C, 10C. Next, Two-third of P. Okay, we have here the word of. It big sabihin, multiplication. It means two-third P. Next, 7 multiplied by X. Then, 7X. Then, a number Y multiplied by 9. Then, 9Y. Okay. Next, the product of X and 3. Then, multiplied by 2. Ayun siya. The first condition is the product of x and 3. And that is 3x multiplied by 2. Big sabihin, and 3x, i multiplied sa 2. Therefore, you can have this one. Okay? 3x ito, hindi siya x plus 3. Kapag sinabing the sum of, yun siya. Okay? I-edit muna natin. That is 3x. Okay? 3x times 2. Okay? Next, twice the sum of 3 and x. Twice the sum of 3 and x. Yun siya. The sum of 3 and x is 3 plus x. Then, twice nito ang sum nila, which is this one. Means 2 times 3 plus x. Next, the product of the square of x and Y. The product of the square of X and Y. Okay, ganito. X squared times Y. 
Okay. I-square natin yung x. That is why x squared times y. Okay. For the division. We have here x divided by 10. Alam natin yan. x divided by 10 or x over 10. Next, the quotient of 8 and m. Pwede siyang 8 divided by m or 8 over m. Next, the ratio of 7 and a. Ratio of 7 and a. Pwede rin siyang 7 divided by a or 7 over a. Then, twice a number. a divided by 3. Twice a number a. It means 2a divided by 3 or 2a over 3. Okay? Oh, di ba? Madali lang. Ito tayo. For the sentences. English sentence to mathematical sentences. Okay. Remember, for the sentences, kasi complete na ito, complete thought, therefore, we will use the symbol equals, or is equal to, is, then, it is less than. Now, ano na pagkakaiba ng less than kanina sa division? Okay. Remember, sa division, as a, sorry, subtraction, less than lang. Pero dito sa sentence, we are using the word, meron na siyang word na is. Okay. Next, is greater than. Next, is less than or equal to, or it is at most. Okay? Then, is greater than or equal to, is at least. Okay, yun siya. Next, translate. Four times a number is 32. Four times a number, it means 4y is 32. It means 4y is equal to 32. Next, one third of a number x is less than 8. 8, babawasan ng one third of a number x. It means 8 minus, ah, sorry, is the word, is less than, sorry. One third x, okay, less than, or is less than 8. Next, a number m is at least 26. Okay, therefore, m is greater than or equal to 26. Or we have here the word at least. Okay, you can have the symbol. 14 added to twice a number x equals 50. 14 plus 2x is equal to 50. Next, a number r less 25 is less than or equal to 10. Therefore, a number r R minus 25 is less than or equal to 10. Okay, those are for how to translate English sentences to mathematical sentences. Diba? Madali. As long as we have those um, symbols and those words to be used. Okay, thank you for watching Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. See you for the next video. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.